Hello, everybody, all over the world. Hey, and welcome to probably one of the least prepared high GPS uh, episodes ever because we didn't really get that many submissions for this episode, which was basically you play spy and then you type in chat uh, to the enemy and know what you're doing. So I went through the, the demos, of course, and prepared something. And as I went, like two seconds before I went live, it's like, damn, there's a couple I forgot to watch. So I'm like, screw it. We'll do it live. So welcome back. It's been a while since the last high GPS. If I sound a little hoarse, that's because I am still a tiny bit sick and I've been kind of sick for like the last two weeks on and off given uh, like the flu season and all that crap that's happening. So if I'm, if I'm coughing and sneezing, that is why. So let's start to look at the first uh, today, which was from Moppy who did this for us. So this is a very difficult topic to do because it kind of, you have to kind of stop and type and then you kind of ruin everything as a spy. And if the enemy team is competent, you're gonna have a, a pretty hard time. So here he is, he is on Dust Bowl, the second stage. And he is going to go back here and so, going to be up, oh, cloak, decloak. There we go, just hiding there for a little bit. And uh, now we're typing, you know, just type, type, type. I'm about to sap your tele entrance, Reaper. Just FYI. He says as he sh uh, saps it and destroys it. Yes. Then, it's just hiding around in the back here. Oh, sees, sees this heavy. And like, you, you supposed to like, if you want to do it correctly, you should just look at people's names and then say who you're gonna stab. So he's like looking for someone, he's like, Kiza, all right, Kiza, all right, so now we're typing maybe, okay, we're gonna move, I'm gonna, I'm gonna backstab Kiza, all right, he said that, Kiza, you know, if you read the chat to that, he's gonna stab you, here comes Moppy, oh, no, can't stab the engineer, <laughs> out of the way, and there we go, he did as he said he would, then he goes around on the side, Same around here, do, 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 do being a bit of a sneaky breaky spy here. Still uh, cloaking behind, of course. This is a huge challenge. It's like a massive handicap of yourself. Oh, he's, he's been found out. And then he dies. So, that was Mappy, but we're still, we're not done, you know, Mappy, he, you know, there was really, uh, there was a lot of uh, leeway in this, so you could do it however you wanted. So he's still alive, he's just not one death. And, oh. Hide around here. Ooh, fast forwarding a little bit. Uh, we haven't really seen a target yet that we can use to tell them what we're going to do, thus invalidating the entire point of spy. Okay, so here we go. Oh, just hiding in the corner. Oh, he's a he's, he's just jamming. Now we're typing. Gonna it's backstab just jamming. Just jamming. There is. A warning, but you didn't heed it because you didn't watch the chat. Probably, maybe you turned it off. If you're playing as people that turn off the chat, you're in a huge, huge uh, disadvantage here when we're doing this sick place because you won't be able to heed our warning. It's like Phoenix, ah, oh, he died. Well, um, all right, and and then he, uh, it just kind of ends after this. Uh, he goes on to play Pyro and actually have fun with the game. So that, like, similar to the episode that I did, uh, the last uh, video, uh, it's kind of like that kind of stuff that we wanted. We wanted you to, like, stop and type uh, and then go for the kill, as you saw. So we are going to look at someone else. Uh, I forgot who sent this, but they're going under an alias uh, as uh, Spy Surveillance. And this one is, is pretty vague. Um, so it, it didn't really matter, but we'll, we'll take a look at it anyway. So he's just yeah, going to type in chats. I am waiting for your back heavy, love, love. So he doesn't specify which heavy. So the class that is the heavy might not, you know, know it's it's them. So it's just kind of camping. Here's the heavy. He said he's going to stop. He checks his back. Turns around. It's a large man. Dies. Five ice, surveillance and spies. All right, so he's just going to wait here at the top. I'll do it again if you let me. That's not really easy saying, like, I'm just about, I'm going to stab you now, is essentially what we're gonna do. So here he is again. So he's just been stabbed once. 
And he knows he's checking his back, and now there's a pyro there. There's really no no way he can get in close. If the demo man would have seen that uh, outline, it would have been problematic. And there's the heavy. He should really give him a warning. That was just a, that was just like a normal stab. Like that was not the challenge at all. Because you just you just literally went in and stabbed him. You have to tell him right before you stab him. And then stab him. You can't like as you spawn and be like, I'm gonna stab someone. And then two minutes later, you stab someone and you're like, did it. Challenge complete. All right, so here we go. We have spies, surveillance eyes and spies. There's the heavy again. All right, we're typing. Ready for this heavy? Ready, ready for what? You didn't say what you were going to do. You just asked if he was ready. Which he obviously wasn't. You didn't say, I'm going to stab you in two seconds. You know? So... Coming for the sniper next. And judging from the sniper... Does the sniper know, does the sniper know that he's next? So he's a Tree Gamer 94. And then... I'm rooting for the sniper in this case. And there we go. Five eyes, surveillance spies, dies. After being probably the most vague out of anyone. Then we have Amadeus, which is also a bit on the vague side, because some of these demos arrived before I made the video showing you how to do it, right? So it's kind of like a bad teacher, so I'm letting you fail first. So this is Amadeus. He's going to go and look at the flying man. And of course, clo uh, Cloak and Dagger is uh, the best one, because you can just stay cloaked and he's going to type something. Uh, what is he typing? Uh, Decloaking on cart as I see two people on it. And uh, there's only one, and there's Pyro, and you just shot him, so... Okay. Not really the best of warnings to the enemy team there, so... What's he going to do? Let's see, he's typing. Waiting for Med to get on cart so I can stab him. The medic's not there. Then you have to die. Never mind, med gone. The med's not here. Uh, going for a soldier then. Uh, huh. Well, um, didn't go for the soldier. I mean, oh, there he is. So that was <laughs> quite a delay between he said he was going to do it and then he did it. And then he dies. Fitting. So, we have another one from Amadeus, uh, which says, so you can see, like, when you do this sort of challenge, you kind of just have to uh, type really quickly and then just go for it. You can't just, like, wait for the perfect opportunity to strike, because by the time you're done typing, the opportunity is gone, which we will see here. So, here's, like, he sees the sniper, and then he, sh uh, okay, there's a demo. I kind of just have to go for it. We're typing something. Typing, typing, typing. Going for the cart in a moment. There's no one there. All right. Never mind, you all died. You, never mind, you all dead. All right, so there's the, the two demos. All right, so he's going to go and type. Um, type, type, type. Demo, it is. Never mind, you also died. So, um... Uh, we're starting to see the problem that uh, if you if you aren't spacing this correctly, uh, the battle will end before you're done typing. Going deeper in blue te into blue territory, you know, following med. Um, should have said stabbing med, but you know, go deep in my anal cattle. <laughs> Nick the Dare. <laughs> you're so funny, anal. Ah! <laughs> Moving to sentry now. All right, so finally some redemption. There's the engineer. Oh, engineer obviously saw him. There go. Yeah. Oh, the engineer's checking. And now we're typing. I'm gonna gun down the NG in a sec. And then he does. That was great. That is exactly what I want to see. I was like, gonna gun down this guy in a second. Bang, bang, he's dead. And then, of course, the spy has three hands, and then he goes in. You know, doesn't need to disguise. There's a sentry. And then he just f fucking dies. 
So that was a bit of a redemption, you know, that's the kind of thing you want to do, is like, I'm going to kill the dumbass standing on top of the, uh, the dispenser. Cool. So, I'm going to do this once more. So, he now actually does something that, you know, a lot of spies will do when they do in the colon. Sapping front sentry in three seconds. I think that was two, but fine, whatever. Mission accomplished. Well done. Now, let's have a look at uh, Rob San, who actually did a pretty good job of this, which is, I would say, the highlight of this uh, episode here. If, you, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to uh, mark the spot 10 minutes into this video. So here he is on steel, playing spy. So going in the corners, just observing everything. Seeing a sentry built by no one. And then he just kind of blows up. So here he is by himself, du -du 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 -du. looking for something. Oh, oh, there's a friendly spy. There's a Boggins. Well, if you've seen a Boggins, he's our target, obviously. So we're gonna type something. I am going to stab a Boggins. Now that's someone who really wants to do the challenge properly. So he has given the name specifically of the guy he's going to stab. <laughs> then he just goes and fucking stabs him. <laughs> and Boggins. Marcus says, sure, mate. And Boggins, damn, he did it. Burrito. This team is just jacking off. Yeah, they're, they're losing pretty badly. Is my whole fucking team AFK? Four question marks. All right, Robson, what are you gonna do? Okay, so you can try and sap. Oh, there, there's, there's this ton. The guy. Oh, you're on fire. Oh no. And he's dead. I would say that was one of the more satisfying ones today. So originally that was all I had planned for today of the episodes, but then I forgot, oh shit, I have, there's more demos. So these I actually haven't looked through and haven't vetted. So I'm gonna go through this one with you, which is kind of long, but I do have the ticks courtesy of Rattlewrench, which is the guy here. So we're just gonna be ticking through this entire thing. So big thanks to him for making my job very easy because this is 23 minutes long. So he's just standing on top of the cart here. Um, numero primo, I'm going to decloak behind you in a few seconds and then try to stab you. So he's giving a very, very clear indication to this medic, which is, you know, numero primo. He has told him this. And then he... Doesn't get this... He gets the kill, though. Missed the stab, got the kill. That's what matters. So, we're gonna fast forward a little bit more. Let's see, that's one. There we go. And we're back. Okay, so there we go. So I, have, I haven't seen this before myself. I am sitting decloaked near you. Um, has he said who? Should probably tell us which one it is. So, there he goes. Going behind this. Ooh, hiding. All right, he's a sniper. All right, so he's, he, has, he has to tell the sniper what he's gonna do. So, he... All right. Oh, oh, maybe it was the dash. Yeah, so it's the dash, dash. I'm sitting cloaked near you, so he's still doing that. He has no idea, so he's probably gonna type. So he's probably gonna say, he's probably gonna say like, I'm gonna shoot you or something. So there you go. He's typing something. In five seconds, I'll decloak and shoot you. So it's been one second, two seconds, three, four. Yeah, fine. I'm fine. Whatever. Got him. Nice. Uh, let's see. The next one is. There we go. A bit further forward. Let's say. Let's roll. Oh, that's numero uno again. So we're gonna type something. Type, 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 type. Nice one, numero. Oh, we just gave him a compliment. Killed the demo, apparently. Oh, oh, here we are. Let's see what what he says. Uh, nu oh, numero primo. Sorry. Okay, blue team, I'm right behind the cart. <laughs> All right, 
So he's behind the cart. What else will he say? Oh, he just goes for a stab. Just goes for a wild stab. So, where are we now? Alright, so. We can go to this one. Fast forwarding a little bit. Alright, so I'm sitting cloaked near the second blue spot. So he's told everyone that he's there. Uh, Mr. Johnson just goes, okay. Uh, then he's saying, waiting to sap Big Rat Kiki's stuff. Which then just got immediately blown up. Uh, so we're just kind of waiting still. Let's see, so... Well, it was destroyed while I was typing that. Yeah, that seems to be the common thing here uh, on this challenge, that like, while you're typing, the battle just kind of ends. Because, uh, you know, TF2 isn't a turn-based uh, strategy game, uh, so you don't have time to type to your opponents between turns. Oh, seeing a soldier. We're gonna type something. Nice garden. Oh, he's just giving compliments, you know. Oh, there's Big Rat Kiki's stuff. All right, oh. Did he get found out? Uber something is there. All right, what is he gonna say? Rattle range is... Okay, Kiki, going to sap your sentry in a few moments. There you go. Has the sap already? Sap. Sap and shoot, that's fine. So he did it. Let's see where we are. Okay, so this is where we are. And then we need to go to 480. Big thanks to Rattle Wrench for doing all the work of putting all of this in, in here. So the round ended or something. And there's a fuck ton of drop weapons in spawn for <coughs> some reason. So, yeah, I think I think someone said something. What's going on in blue spawn? Hmm. Okay. I'm just fast forwarding. Red range. Oh, Kiki, I'll go all the way to red spawn and sap entrance. Now, this is a huge deal because now the entire red team knows that there's a spy going specifically to get the teleporter. He has said this, and there's an enemy spy there. And now, Rattle Wrench has to do something. He saps everything. And watches traitors having high fives and stuff. Let's see, where are we now? We are a 5-5 five five something. Uh, let's go to this one. Let's see. Oh yes, we're past this. This, there you go, we're going to uh, this one. So here we are. Oh, he's near a little nest that is in construction, and he's getting. He said he's uh, near the sentry, but he got lit on fire, so he can't really do much as of now. Hasn't really gotten and, uh, any response from them, I think. Good job, Pyro. And then Lasgun. He's watching. Alright, what is the Red Lunch gonna say now? Gonna sap that sentry any second now. There we go. He sapped it, shot it. The engineer could have prepared because he knew he was coming if he had read the chat, but alas, he didn't. All right, so what is Ravanch typing now? He's typing numero umu. I'm numero. I'm coming for you in about ten seconds. Uh, I guess that was ten seconds. Fine. Like he has literally been giving information to the enemy team the entire time. So, right, Maz gone. All right, so we're in the corner by herself. Let's see what he's typing. He's typing Maz gone. I think I'll go for the dispenser this time. So, so then now Maz gone knows that the Rattle Wrench is bound by the honor of this challenge to go for... Oh, no, he's, by the way, I'm behind you. All right, so he goes for the... Dispenser and the sentry, but he went for the dispenser first, and then he dies. Let's see, where are we now? 78. All right, so we are going to have to go to this number. Rattle is back. 
to uh, bothering this guy. Forgot the disguise, though, so that's why you're not healing from the dispenser, you moron. Alright, so... Standing on... Top hook. I mean... I mean, if you stand on top of an undetonated mine and the mine just detonates, then... Uh, and, and then, like, standing on top of a sentry and typing is a bad idea. Rattle wrench just types. Dang it, as you can see. Can we get a resume? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't boss. He's just standing here typing. All right, so why is he typing? Uber, watch your back. Oh, there's num Numero Primo. Oh, he gets that one. oh, and then he dies to Ivox. Let's see. Who's next? So that was 855, so we will have to go to this one. Going forward. Yes, there we go. Okay, I couldn't get to you anyway. Uber something said pro move. Pro move. All right, fine. All right, so we're typing something. Okay, right team, I'll disguise as a red medic and uncloak near your top spawn in a few seconds. Then he does that. And then he goes for a sap. And then, oh, I'm getting impatient, I guess. And then the round kind of ends. But I'd say that was a pretty darn good effort um, on Rattlebrench's part. Pretty good, pretty similar to what I did, except that he chose a map with more competent players than what I did when I went on two fort. And like doing this is really hard because you have to stop and you have to type and be very specific with what you're typing. Like to do the proper challenge, you can't just be like, oh, a stabbing medic at some point in the game. All right, so then I also have 11 more demos from, who were they from? I think they were from, yeah, Esteban Failsmore sent me uh, this with fuck you. Uh, dot rar is the file name. Here, I'll show you the. I'll, sh I'll show you the mail. Here's your stupid demos. I might send more in the future, but I'm feeling masochistic enough. <laughs> Fuck you. Thanks for the demos. We'll enjoy them all together uh, for the first time without any vetting. So I have no idea if these are garbage or not. Most likely garbage. So let's. Go in to the first one and see exactly what is happening. So here he is. Exactly. What a disaster is exactly what this. All right. So we have heavy medic combo. All right. I will attempt to backstab you now, medic. And then you should have said that you were going for the heavy, but that's fine. Actually, I'm going to give that a star. All right. So we're going to rate this star or no star. So, so the first one was actually pretty good. He said the medic. The medic was called a doctor. So, I'll let this one slide because he didn't use the name and like and stuff. Yeah. So there we go. Here we are on Mercenary Park. And uh, we're not just observing the last point, which is fucking impossible to push if the enemy team knows what they're doing. See here, is he saying anything? No, just gonna hide in the corner. Probably type, 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 type. Nope, just waiting. Waiting some more. Uh, going to backstab you now, red soldier. Yeah, which one? Hmm. Engineer, I will try to kill you very soon. Didn't say which engineer though. Just goes for the sap and shoots. Ah, he killed him. He did what he said. He did some sapping too, and then he died. Thus keeping the uh, keeping the the demos short, which is good <laughs> when they're not that great. So here we are, back back in the fray once more. Oh, there we go. We're going behind enemy lines, and what are we typing? We are typing. I'm going to backstab you now, red heavy. Kai Dingmen, not uh, not uh, really realizing that uh, he's a red heavy, maybe. Maybe not that self-aware. I'm hiding with cloak and dagger, red. Nobody 
seems to be watching. People are too busy to read chat. Oh, if they only knew the information that we will be providing them to help them not be so bad. What is he saying now? Oh, there's a sniper. Going to backstab you now, red sniper. Well, didn't get the stab, we got the kill. So if you have to stab it, you're allowed. So we're now being not specific on names. Oh, he is, he has the name. And he has the target acquired. I'm going to stab you now, red soldier. <laughs> okay. Mm. You can you can just feel, uh, like f feel the horribleness. So now we're all a terrible map, Egypt. So this this should be good. Let's see here what uh, Esteban fails more. Red team, I'm going to announce when I'm about to backstab you. Please pay attention. Aha. So he's actually saying before the round starts that I'm going to be announcing everything I do. So please pay attention. And 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 Joe is like, I don't know, I give up. So there you go. Gonna be running out of is the spawns. Moving forward and oh, there's a King Kong. Oh well, no. Uh -huh. Let's see who are we gonna kill here. So we have a couple snipers. All right. So what do we? Uh, yeah, hold on. I will attempt to backstab you now, red sniper. Oh. When, uh, when as well as <laughs> you'll expect, you're standing outside the enemy spawn and that's where the enemy comes from. So you're bound to be totally, absolutely... Uh... Well, that was a short uh, short demo. That was only like a couple of seconds. So let's move on to the next one. Let's see how many was it. So we're now on six of 11 and number five uh, was a dud. It didn't work. So here we have once again on Snowy Coast. Sneak past everything. Oh, oh. Right in the corner. Uh, what is he gonna say? I'm gonna tip you now, sniper. Well, did stab him. The only thing that would have made this a lot better if he actually used the names of the characters he looked at. That that would have given him a gold star. He gets a silver star. And he's like, I'm gonna tip to a stab you now, heavy. He even said backstab, so he spent additional time on doing this. And then he dies. So, once again, back, he's hiding, oh no, ah, uh, take some, take some hits. Backstab you now, demo, well, I said, he says we, he will attempt, it doesn't say he will do it, so he's not that, that, that thing, and he should also be clarifying when he's defending himself, and then the other spy is just here, so we have to wait for the health packs or something. I'll attempt to backstab you now, engineer. Never mind, you died. Uh, sapping your telly now. Yes! <laughs> Although, ah, then we died. So, what you're seeing now is probably what the experience was for most people that tried the challenge but didn't submit anything because it's extremely difficult to get anything worthwhile. Oh, here we have. The engineer again. All right, so I will attempt to backstab you now. And do he, does he have binds? <laughs> would be would be interesting if he has like he uses numpad and he has like one bind for each class. That's why it's good to have the names. I'm near you, sniper. Which you know isn't. All right, so I will attempt to backstab you now, engineer. <laughs> and he's just fucking that. I think he has binds. I have a strong suspicion that he has binds because he keeps saying the same stuff repeatedly. Drury claims in the chat that he got some good content but didn't record it. Yeah, we all did. We all got some amazing content, but we oh, just didn't record. Oh. You know, I did uh, put the world record for something, but I have like, I forgot to record. All right. Blue, I'm going to camp your spawn soon. All right, so he's now camping his spawn. Sapping Tele, he did sap, stab it all. And now he's hiding. Oh, there's a sniper. I'll attempt to backstab you now, sniper. That must be blinds. There's the medic, stops. I'll attempt to backstab you now, medic. And then he wins. Was that the last one? No. 
We got more to go. We got this one and a final one. And then we will we, then we'll be done for sure with this awful topic. So metal works. Interesting map. Red team, I will announce when I try to backstab you, please pay attention. Yeah, this is uh this smells of uh, binds Esteban fails more. Doesn't seem like you're a true spy typer. A typewriter spy. Oh, there's an engineer. Hiding now. How how can you backstab this? Hmm. I will try to cap now. Come and stop me. Except at this point it's locked, you fucking moron. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a very clear indication. And also the fact that you had a friendly engineer sit there. The red medic, I will backstab you now. Well, there's the medic and... Fuck. Shit. <sighs> he got away this time. Or, try at least. Going to try and sap your sentry instead. Well, the medic sentry? Gotta be specific, dude. So, red engineer, I will backstab you. No, okay, so, um. Hmm. Well, crap, too late. <laughs> I think that's a good summary of everything. Crap, too late. Okay, I will camp your spawn now. And then they're just gonna win. And that was the end of that one. So, the final unvetted demo from Esteban Failsmore, which is gonna close out the episode because I had enough with the one episode that I did. Maybe we'll revisit this in the future. Maybe not. What does he say? What does Esteban, did Esteban say something? No, he hasn't said anything. Blue Sniper, I will attempt to kill you with my revolver. Ha. So, this is the sniper. The Razorback's not away, he got away. Almost there! Uh. Yes! Mission accomplished! <laughs> and Ferrari and Frock. And some Koreans. I think this, is, this must be in Asia because there's a Chinese and Korean names. Ha ha! How you fell! How you fell. Frick! I will come for you again, sniper. Be prepared. Be prepared. Nothing could. Fuck. Ah. Uh, okay, now. Well, that's going to conclude the spy. Tell everybody everything you're doing. Episode. One of the more impossibly difficult topics that we've ever had to do because. When you type, the game still goes on and then stuff happens. So, we we had we had this. Uh, might be revisiting this in the future, of course. This is a very fun topic and I think we can have a lot of fun with this. But this is something that definitely requires a lot of practice. And of course, it's not for everyone and very much depends on your opponents too. It's most fun when they actually read the chat and they're not just some foreign guy who doesn't really speak English and doesn't understand what you're saying to them. So with that, um, we're gonna go and cover an item that we haven't actually covered in a while. And you can record on the balance mod as well as the official casual as well for this next topic, which is going to be a heavy topic and it's going to be the Holiday Punch, uh, a weapon that we haven't really covered and it has some pretty, it has one specific use and that is basically uh, stopping Ubers as a heavy primarily is what this thing can do. Like you go behind them and you punch them in the back or get a random crit or something. Um, so yeah, we'll look at how strong it is to stop Ubers with this. Of course, this is kind of a bit harder to do in casual if the enemy team doesn't have a medic or they're not using Uber, if they're using Kritzkrieg or something. So you'll have some time to uh, record for this because I will be going away for uh, many weekends in a row. There's a lot of like stuff happening. So there won't be an episode, another high GPS for quite some time, but not the same duration that was like December, like almost two months. It was two months actually, because I checked how many Sundays have it been since uh, the last high GPS. It's been 10 Sundays, so 10, 10 weeks uh, worth of no shows, which is 65 days, which means that 
we can't skimp out on a raffle, right? So we have to do a raffle as if we had a high GPS every Sunday. So today's raffle is going to be another mega raffle. So you're going to have 10 times the items you'd normally have. So there's a good chance that you could, uh, could win something. And we also got some donations as well. So while the episode is over, I'm going to be crafting some hats and showing you some of the stuff that we will be giving away that you can just win. So we got... Um, a lot of cop items from from uh, Rattle Wrench. So big thanks to him. We got a matching man and some some of these. So I will be crafting some random hats as well. And then we have I forget where I put them. Uh, there should be some other hats here somewhere. Let's see where. Uh, did we give all away already? Don't remember. Let's know. This is my normal backpacks. Let's see, this is the key, this is the thing. Not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, not here. Okay, so I think we might be out of uh, things to give away. So I'll be crafting uh, a bunch of hats and there's some other cosmetics and stuff you can win as well. Might be giving away some of these uh, skin things too from the winter thing. So yes, so let's let's get crafting. Let's get crafting. So let's see here. So we're gonna just uh, use. So let's see how many? How many do we have? So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So we, we can craft uh, five five hats. God damn! What was it? Fabricate headgear, wasn't it? Yes, there we go. So we will make five hats or more. Oh my god, <laughs> you can get a Siberian Sophisticate crafted by me! Yes, so that was one hat. Oh, Tyrant's Helm. Nice, good. So this one is. So this will be the third one. A hat with no name. Pretty decent hat, all class. This was four, saying double. And this is number five, the gym rat. And of course, I'll just do a bonus for you guys. The first American. So yeah, I'll be setting up the raffle now. So if you're watching this on YouTube, the raffle link is in the description. You can win a ton of items. I'll be making sure that there is enough for all the shows that we missed. So thank you guys for watching. And of course, next episode's topic will be holiday punch for the heavy and i will see you then be sure to join steam group discord instagram for balance mod and there will also be a balance mod session today after the stream is over uh, see you